Of course, you can't kid a kid. <laughs> hey, Vic. Hey. Yo, bro, so, what's up? Vic, you want to hear about a little plan that is going to make us three very rich? Very rich. Mm -hmm. So what's the risk? Well, let me put it like this. You will not be handling any drugs. All I need you to do is keep the cops busy while Lance and I steal some merch off the scum who brought it into this country. The drugs are already here, so we ain't drug trafficking. Exactly. You're just a decoy. All you gotta do is make the police think you're carrying. They can't arrest you for that. No, but they can shoot me. Oh. Don't be ridiculous. Yeah, come on, man. Come on. Vic, you'll be fine. Rich and fine. All right, let's do it. Yeah, let's pop. Ooh, that's a bit of a sinister look there from old Bri Bri Forbes at the end of the cutscene, and um, I suppose that's a bit of foreshadowing as to what will potentially happen with this character. I mean, uh, they're not being very subtle with it, giving him that kind of look um, in a cutscene, but <laughs> as you would imagine, uh, bad things are to come with this guy, but um, in the meantime, we'll see how that plays out as we do more missions involving this guy, but um, I will say that I do like this character you know, of, uh, of Brian Forbes. You know, he's a bit of a snake with a tongue in that he's able to, I guess, tickle Lance's eardrums to get him to do things for him in a non-sexual way. You know, it's all criminal activity, what we have going on here, but, um, you know, I'm still into it. You know, it's pretty cool stuff. Because um, Lance isn't all there sometimes. You know, he's, he's a little slow in the head, it seems, but uh, you know, he gets dragged into doing these things for Brian Forb, uh, for Forbes, and, um, you know, it's like Vic also gets dragged into it, because, well, Vic and Lance are partners in crime, uh, brothers in crime, quite literally, and so it's kind of like, uh, it's, it's kind of sweet in a way, you know, it's like, a you know, family members doing things together, you know, it's, uh, it's good stuff, you know, doing criminal activities as a way of, uh, uh bonding with your, with your brother, I guess, uh, in the case of Vic and Lance here, so... <laughs> I don't know, it's, uh, it's silly stuff, but anyways, uh, what we have going on here is, uh, well, we first have to get to this decoy van that we're currently driving to take it on over to a garage that holds, I guess, the real van that contains copious amounts of drugs, so... <laughs> Uh, I'd imagine the drugs are um, probably caffeine, you know, because uh, people are always talking about coke in this game, and, you know, I myself enjoy a nice throbbing cold coke every once in a while. This is gonna be the decoy van! Come on, Vic, you drive! This van's the wrong color, Forbes! Relax! It's nothing a little paint can't fix. This van is good to van go! <laughs> yeah, funny. Vic, take the decoy and lead the cops away from here. We'll let you know when we're home free. Yeah, you see that? Who needs a pain spray when you have spray cans lying all around the place like that? <laughs> you know, it's a shame in San Andreas how CJ couldn't organize some kind of, like, makeshift pain spray using this concept, you know, with Grove Street gang members, so he could pull up into a back alleyway and just get his car sprayed real quickly. Uh, but I suppose maybe the spray can technology downgraded from the events of this game to San Andreas. Gabrego, what's your 20? For Christ's sakes, Lance, speak English. Uh, yeah. We're on our way. Keep the cops busy. So after triggering that trucker dialogue from Lance right there, uh, what I like doing is what the speedrunners do, which is to make a U-turn and then drive on back over to that police bribe to reduce our wanted level from three to two stars. Now. Uh, I know that the game and mission says uh, to not lose your police attention and all that or else it'll get shifted on over to Lance and Forbes as they're trying to reach their destination, which is the whole point of the progress bar up there, but, um, you know, as long as you have two or more stars, the only way to lose your stars is to collect more police bribes or by using the pay and spray. So as long as we avoid doing those things, we'll be in the clear in maintaining the police attention on us. Um, until that progress meter gets filled up all the way. So, um, you know, it's kind of like uh, once the progress meter does get filled up, uh, we do eventually have to lose our wanted level. So it's like we might as well just lose one of the stars right now instead of waiting until the mission actually tells us to lose all of our stars. So I don't know. That's kind of the way I perceive that. 
Um, and, uh, you know, I suppose us driving in this back area once again, um, <laughs> which we saw um, this being utilized during the mission Poppy Don't Screech uh, that we did for Umberto Robina. So, you know, this place comes in handy once again, um, not only because it allows us to reach kind of where I want to get to um, fairly safely, but uh, there's also uh, no chance of cops spawning back here. You know, the cops and other vehicles that you would see in traffic don't spawn in this back area. Um, as you can see, once we reach civilization, the cops are already trying to get after us, but, um, you know, over the course of driving back there, you know, we didn't see any signs of Sting, Stuart Copeland, or Andy Summers. So here you can see another reason as to why we drove across town to avoid the police attention on the streets by using the back alleyways and all that. Um, so that way we can get to this police bribe to reduce our stars down from 2 to 1. And since we have one, well, I suppose we can collect another police bribe or use the pay and spray, but we're not going to do that because we also can just avoid police uh, attention as we see it as well as, uh, you know, just not committing any more crimes, besides, of course, reckless driving there, uh, since we can get away with such things in the Grand Theft Auto universe, you know? Uh, nobody's gonna spank our ass over crossing those double lines, but anyways, we have a uh, pager message from Lance. I don't trust Forbes, man. Meet me up at the arena. So that's also, I guess, a part of the speedrun tactic in quotes because it allows you to just get to the next mission right away if you're into that type of thing. So that completes this part. In the next part, we'll be doing that next mission, which is from Lance, and it's called Caught as an Act. So until then, I will see you next time.